what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and during this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Pixel OS based on Android 13 and this is the 8th May 2023 build and you can check out the flashing guide from the description I have used the latest MIUI 14 firmware to actually flash it and in the notes it's included that it comes with the latest MIUI camera from the MIUI version of 14.0.2.0 and I have been daily driving this from my experience overall has been one of the best and let me show you the about section. Now in here it looks really simple the android version shows as android 13. The security patch is latest of May 5th 2023. The stock kernel here is 4.14 Bantam kernel and we have the build number right here. In the system settings this is how it looks like we also get a system updater from here you can check for updates and the maintainer is Aryan so huge thanks to the developers and maintainers of this ROM. On the bottom in the system settings we get a thermal profile so you can set per apps thermal profile to default benchmark browser camera dialer gaming or streaming and you can also change the benchmark apps if you want to. In the gesture settings we have the quick loop and camera and stuff in the navigation gesture settings. We have the swipe to invoke assistant that works perfectly fine. Also we have the left edge right edge customization then the haptic feedback gestures and stuff is present but you cannot really change the pill length and radius. We have three button navigation as well and you can invert the layout from here if you want. Let me go back we have the one handed mode as well that should work fine then we have the quick torch then we have the press and hold power button in here we have the advanced reboot option if in case you want to enable that and we have the swipe click screenshot and stuff. They should be working fine there is the share edit delete and the capture mode feature we have the quick pull down double tap to check phone and we have the prevent ringing playback control etc options let me show you the home screen this is how it looks like the wallpaper i'm using is from the wall p app but you can use any wallpaper let me actually show you the wallpapers and styles quickly so that i can show you the stock wallpapers here we have the come alive so you will get the live wallpapers and you can download them if you want from here also we have the cityscapes, life, textures, all the pixel kind of wallpapers and you get 16 colors for the wallpaper and basic colors. Then we have the dark theme, the themed icons and the app grid we have up to 5x5. Five five. The stock launcher that you are getting is the pixel launcher over here and we have the suggestion disabling option but there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen because again this is a pixel launcher. You have the screenshot, the select option on the recent panel and you can go into the split top mode and stuff from right here and if you go all the way to the left we have the clear all option you can clear all the apps out if you need that. Now swiping up in the home screen will get you to the app drawer and you can search for any particular app that works fine. Swiping down will get you to the notification and the quick setting panel which looks like this. In the light theme even the quick setting panel stays dark like this this is how it is but the notification panel stays light and to the left of the home screen we have the google's discover page and it is working perfectly fine and 120 hertz and stuff all over the ui is working great no issues with the animations and stuff and the widgets are working great if you're noticing i have the battery widget and both the battery shows up my phone's battery as well as the bluetooth battery shows up right here and here if i tap into the clock widget as you can see the animation appears perfectly fine and i have also added the subscribe account widget talking with the quick setting panel let me show you which ones i have added i have the wi-fi mobile data the bluetooth toggle and the flashlight auto rate battery saver the google home controls night light then we also have the screen recorder and in here we have the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time and the show touches option that's it there is no other customization for that and we have the nearby share data saver always on display toggle then we have the dark theme anti flicker or the resetting and we have the hotspot do not disturb then we have the airplay mode one handed mode heads up and the sound toggle and in the power menu it will appear like this if i press on advanced as you can see there is the advanced reboot as i have enabled it from the system settings let me show you the stock camera well you are getting the miui camera right out of the box and there is the lens switching option which should be working great as you can see and also there is the beautification mode and stuff and in the normal camera settings we have the movie frame the grid line and stuff and even the super macro lens let me actually show you with that it is working perfectly fine no issues with the super macro lens as well now i have also enabled the swipe up then we have the vlog mode the slow motion time lapse AI watermark and we have the long exposure dual video all these modes should be working great and in the video settings up to 4k 30 fps for the rear camera shooting and you can definitely use that and also in the pro mode you can shoot videos up to 4k 30 fps with the rear camera and if you switch to the front camera there is the 10 to p 30 fps option for the videos 
and if you go into the normal photo mode yes the portrait mode pictures and stuff everything should be working fine with the front camera no issues whatsoever with that i have tested the camera it is working fine including with the 64 megapixel mode the night mode and stuff everything is working great no issues whatsoever with the camera so you are getting the latest miui camera right out of the box and that's just great Let's talk about the basic things. Yes, the safety net passes right out of the box. So banking apps will not be a problem over here. I have been using banking apps. No problems with that. Also, the DRM info stays as L1 here. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. And the IR Blaster works perfectly fine here. No issues. We also get the Google Pixel unlimited backup of Google Photos. So that's really great in this ROM. Let's talk about the settings panel. This is how it looks like. It is really simple stick and it doesn't have a separate customization section, but you will find minimal customizations in each settings. Let me show you in the network settings. We have the network traffic indicator and stuff if you need that. Then in the notifications, we have this enhanced notification, annoying notification, skip lock screen and the face unlock kind of settings for swiping up and stuff and all these things. The bubbles and stuff is there of Android 13. We have the battery settings right here. This is how it looks like. We get the battery percentage seeing option, but sadly there is no battery charging cycle or the battery temperature and stuff. Those things are simply missing from this battery settings. With the Aku battery app, I have tested it. The battery life, I mean, the screen on time here it shows as seven hours and 16 minutes. This is huge and I would say yes, all of these numbers are estimated. With my kind of usage, I have got about 7 hours and 16 minutes of screen on time. It shows over here and even the screen off or the standby, you can see it's about 54 hours and even the combined use, it's about 14 hours. And in the health section, for me, my battery health is at 83% after 2 years of usage of the device. So definitely the battery life that I have been getting is amazing and even the fast charging is working perfectly fine. You should not worry about it. In the sound and vibration settings, this is how it looks like. On the bottom, we have the haptic feedback. You can change the intensity. Also, we have the vibration and haptics, then the show volume panel on the left side. But I have volume control, then the default alarm sound and stuff you can change, of course. And in the additional settings, we get to choose the dial pad tones, screen locking sounds, screenshot sound, etc. options, even the in-call vibrations. You can toggle them on or off from here. And we also have the Mi Sound Enhancer. From here, you can choose the headphones to the youth edition and stuff. And the sound quality with the headphone jack is amazing with these presets. Also, we have these other preset option and there is the scene option as well if you want to use that. There is a clear speaker option as well. If your speaker sounds muffled, you can definitely use this feature. While playing music, the volume panel looks like this and you can expand the volume panel just like this. Also, there is the output device switching option which appears like this and even the power app volume control is here. You can definitely use it if you want. You can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here. Now let me show you how it looks like in the lock screen. This is how it looks. And here if I just tap on play or pause, it has this Android 14 kind of animation. Looks really cool and it has this wavy kind of seek bar. Also there is the output device switching option from right here. In the display settings, this is how it looks like. We have the brightness level, adaptive or auto brightness. In the lock screen, we have the show device control controlled from lock device for the Google Home controls. In the ambient display, we also have this and we have the pickup option as well. I'll test that. Let me go back. We have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes and there is the screen attention as well. And we have the dark theme. Then we have this pitch black option and the scheduling option. Then we have the display size and text. You can choose these kind of settings if you want. Then we have the live display as well. We have the anti flicker, the color calibration and stuff. And even the picture adjustment options are here. Also, there is the outdoor bright sun mode in case you want to use that. The colors, I have been using it with a boosted one because the natural used to look a lot more faded, I would say. We have the smooth display. The force 120Hz refresh rate option is also here. Then we have the double tap to wake, double tap to sleep. And the full screen apps, you can force particular apps to full screen if you want. The status bar items are here, but I would say I do miss the Vaulty icon. There is no Vaulty icon over here that you can enable. But yeah, you do have the Wi-Fi standard icon and stuff, all these extra features in case you need that. We have the show data usage and the ignore the window secure flags. I have already showed you the wallpapers and styles right now. Let me show you the security settings in here. In the settings of it, we have the scramble pin layout, the quick unlock, lock screen after timeout, and we have the power button instantly locks. Also, we have the hide on lock screen option that's for the power menu for privacy. I have already added the face unlock and fingerprints and here in the more settings, you will also get the app lock. I have also locked particular apps. Let me actually show you the fingerprint scanner speed right now and for that, I just double tapped on the status bar. Yes, that works fine. And in the fingerprint scanner, if I just tap it, as you can see, it unlocks. And the speed is blazing fast, no issues whatsoever. 
and let me show you if the pickup gesture is working or not i just put the device on the desk and pick it up on my hand and as you can see yes the pickup gesture is actually working perfectly fine let me tap the few minutes scanner and it unlocks i'll just enable the always on display for the time being so with the always on display the clock definitely looks beautiful of android 13 pretty much it is really big and here if i just double tap to wick yes that also works and in the lock screen we have some shortcuts it appears like this I don't think you can really change the shortcuts but yeah there is a camera kind of option but here let me tap the finger scanner again and it unlocks so yeah the animation and the unlocking speed is perfectly fine here and let me show you the face unlock I'll just swipe up and as you can see there is a black border on the front camera and it unlocks I just swipe up and there is the black border and as you can see it unlocks how fast it is it's marvelously fast I would say now let me show you the app lock this is how it looks like the UI and I'll just tap the finger scanner and the app as well unlocks and goes wherever I left it. This is really great. The app lock face unlock and the fingerprints is working perfectly fine here, no issues. So overall, my experience has been one of the best over here, but in the test view website, for some reason, it is showing me as 80 FPS. It doesn't go 120 Hertz or something like that. Maybe I have to force it, not really sure, but yeah. Overall, I have seen like no lags or stutters at all in the UI. Everything is buttery smooth. And even in Twitter, let me just open it and let's just go to the top and if i just scroll it just notice how smoothly it scrolls no issues whatsoever that you will face while scrolling or switching between apps is not a problem whatsoever and even in play store and stuff the scrolling and stuff is working perfectly great so overall i would say my experience has been one of the best on this pixel os and here are the android and geekbench code with a cpu stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the benchmarks and the overall performance of the ui in the latest pixel os of redmi note 10 pro so let me in the comments what you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest pixel os and how it's working on the redmi note 10 pro and i have a really cool unboxing video coming up next into the channel it will be a surprise for you guys so stay tuned for that and until next time Stay happy and have a great day guys. This is Tito from KTN Tech signing off for today and I'll be at you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.